Hi, this is Stacey Clardy. For today's Neurology Minute, we will talk about hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, or HIE. April is actually Hypoxic Ischemic Encephalopathy Awareness Month, and so we spoke to Betsy Pilon with the organization Hope for HIE. Here's what she had to say when we asked her what resources are available through Hope for HIE to help our patients. We have currently over 5,500 families that we support on a global scale through over 100 support groups that are based on Facebook. We also partner often with our clinical friends and researchers to make sure that families are getting accurate information, are feeling supported, and have cheerleaders in their corner going through, obviously, a difficult and unexpected time with their children. So we have support and peer mentors for new families that are newly diagnosed that either come to us in the NICU, post-discharge and also families whose children might experience HIE in early childhood for a you know, myriad of causes and reasons. And so, you know, one of the big things that we really try to work towards is partnering to ensure that our families are well taken care of, have information, and can really talk to other parents who have gone through this experience. I can say for me personally, when my son was born in 2012, one of the things that resonated through these years, especially, is you know, not understanding what questions even to ask providers. So, you know, you go through this experience in the NICU. For most of us, it's extremely traumatic and difficult. And, you know, for many, it's also their first entry into parenthood. Mm -hmm. And so afterwards, when you have all these follow-ups with developmental specialists and neurologists, And, you know, understanding what questions to ask sometimes is difficult because those appointments can be very overwhelming for families. They want to make sure that they are getting all the information they can and making sure that they are understanding everything in a very complicated situation. Our website is hopeforhie.org. And on there, we have patient educational materials. We have printed materials that any provider can request and we'll mail out to you. We have printables, we have all sorts of different infographics, different things that have not only been written for patients and families to understand, but also been vetted through our medical advisory board. For more information about hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, as Betsy mentioned, the website again is hopeforhie.org. Check it out and share it with your patients.